Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Well, uh, if you're wondering what machine I'm on right now, if you can't tell right now, it looks a little different. I'm on XP. Yeah, XP. I haven't done an XP video in forever, guys. So, uh, I'm gonna come back to XP for a while. Still do my Vista, but I've been doing too many Vistas and I do a lot of vlogs. Kind of, uh, neglected XP. But, you know, that's because I got my Vista machine and I really had to pertain to a different audience. But now, XP's back, guys. Uh, I am, I do have less hard drive space to work with than since I installed Ubuntu. Uh, but I might, I'm getting a dedicated Ubuntu machine. So either that or I might partition more space for Ubuntu. But anyways, guys, uh, videos take up a lot of space, but I'm gonna, you know, I can still manage. I'm only running at like 19 gigs right now anyway. I still have like 49 free. Anyways, that's now what today's tutorial is about. Today uh, is actually talking about something I talked about in Vista. Start menu customization. Now, a lot of people, you know, love those videos and how to get the views and stuff like that. But a lot of people didn't realize that uh, if you're using Vista, you can pretty much do most of those stuff. Most of the stuff, like I said, was originated from XP. So, because, you know, Vista. Uh, so, most of the stuff that you can do in Vista, you can probably do in XP most, most of the time. Just because, uh, you know, there's nothing huge added to Vista. Except some key features. But anyways, if you go to your start menu, right click it and go to properties. It opens up this. Now it's going to look different than this does, but anyways, whatever uh, start menu you're using, classic or uh, regular, just go to customize. Now this is going to look different too. Now here you can uh, tell if you want to use large icons or small icons. You can increase the number of recent programs on the start menu. Mine's six right now, and you can just show on the start menu what browser you want to use, as in right here as you see up there. And uh, your Outlook, your email, which is Outlook for me, so I use Mozilla and Outlook. Now, with that, also you can go into your Advanced tab and look at this. Uh, look at these all, all of these uh, options you have here. Open submenus when I pause on them with my mouse. Basically, what that is is when you pause on stuff like this, it opens up. Rather than if you want to click, then it can open up too. And a lot of people like the display as menu trick when you can do that, and you can still do that here too. So let me just show you, for example, display as menu. So if you go down, now I hit OK, and then hit apply. Now I just go to, now I would go to my start menu, and you see right there, there's an arrow right on my documents. And now it's really easy to access stuff, saves you a lot of time, easy to access files, you don't have to go scouring through all the folders, but, and it's quick, especially if you have that tweak that I mentioned about, uh, you see how fast mine's really going, actually. Uh, if you know uh, the tweak I showed you on uh, what it, what was it? How to make the start menu also go faster? The start arrows right here. So as you see, look how fast it goes. Look how rapid that is. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah. So with all the start menu customizations that you can do within Vista. Keep in mind you can do them in XP too. You can keep those. You can uh, run. You can uh, right here. You can disable search if you don't like search up in there. Uh, uh, you can run in command. All this stuff. You can all edit it from here. You can even display it as a link. Don't display the item as all. At all. So, for example, I don't want my music in here because let's see what I have in here. All I have is my iTunes. So, let's say I don't want that in there, right? I just say, don't display this item. Hit OK. Apply. And then OK. And see, it's gone. Now it saves up space. It's easy to organize. Guys, really take advantage of this stuff. And keep in mind, my Vista tutorials also keep. Uh, negotiate with my XP tutorials. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Uh, so I'm back to XP as well. I'll be doing Vista tutorials. So uh, for all you XP users who re uh, you know who like who saw the Vista tutorials and you know if you don't have Vista, that's that's cool. You can do this stuff on XP as well. I just wanted to point that out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.